Toronto. We were so happy that you had this film there. It was awesome. I know, wasn't it good fun? I loved it being there. You know, I saw a lot of films there too this yeah. year. Which Did you is have rare. a chance this year? Because yeah. you come a lot. You come almost every year. Or you've, yeah. We've had you in Toronto. I know, I like yeah. it. I, I saw um, Silver Linings. I saw Argo. Yeah, Argo's saw, great, huh? What else did I yeah. see there? Oh, I saw no, no Bombas film with um, Greta. Gerwig. I missed that one. I wanted to see that. That was good. Yeah. yeah, sure. Bonnie Law for Tribute Canada. Uh, Ewan, oh my gosh, outstanding. This movie, seriously, people need to bring a box, two boxes of Kleenex when they see this movie. Being a mom, this was one of the hardest things. I think the scariest movie I've ever had to see in my mm. life. Being a dad, what was it like for you to work on something like this? Yeah, very, um, well, I think it's very, inf obviously very informing. I play the father of three boys uh, and we're on our hol Christmas holiday in Thailand when the tsunami hit. Um, and we get separated. I, I'm with my two youngest boys and Naomi and our eldest son are um, swept away from, we get separated and we don't know where, what's happening to the other, the other family members. And um, I suppose being a dad brings you closer to what, understanding what that would be like. Um, but, but it's difficult, but that's where it sort of ends because it's too unpleasant to think about really yeah. with your own kids. So. I, I had this little fake family that we created here, you know, Naomi and my three boys, and we and I believe I believed I liked it. I like what we that we managed to make a family that that we the, the audience will invest in and want to follow through the movie. And we've got like five minutes at the beginning of the film to set that up. Yeah. But I really liked the I liked it, and I, so I thought about them. I didn't reuse my family to think about. Yeah, it's a tough one, like I said, to sit through and watch, but it's so amazing and a great story. But I can't even imagine what you went through making this film, mm. you and like really, there's a change. Is this a kind of movie that after you're done, your life is a little bit changed? You think it's about so funny. I, uh, my youngest girl was born the two days after I wrapped on this film, and so that that changed. You know, that's the life changer, and in a way. I just was. I just rushed home from Thailand yeah. so that I didn't miss the birth, and I got there, you know, like twelve hours before she was born. So I didn't ever. Th I didn't have a great debrief and think about it how my life had changed after this film because I was just, uh, you know, in love with this new little baby. Yeah. So, um, uh, but I think all of your work as an actor affects how you see the world. You know, it's a it's a nice job in that way. You're you're. You're 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 look, using your own experience, but you're using your imagination to to look into different situations that different people are in that aren't your own, and um, by that you're always exploring the world that we live in, and and so I suppose all of it makes you change somehow. Yeah, I have to ask you. You've been giving us such great performances for so many years. My gosh, I, I still like Moulin Rouge, my number one fave of no, all time, nice. and Big you. Fish, like those two films. But I'm wondering, you know, when you decided to become an actor. Was there a movie, was there a, a, an actor that you watched growing up that you thought, oh, I gotta do this for my living? Well, two, my, my, my uncle Dennis is an actor, and as a kid, he, he was my, and, and now is my main inspiration in acting. Um, he's certainly the only person I would speak to if I, if I had a scene that I didn't know how I was gonna play, or I, he's the only person I would speak to about it, really. But my, and my, so him, and, um, and also as a child watching him work in the theater, and then seeing him on the big screen and then television was a thrill, you know. And he did it, so he'd done it already, so it was a possibility for me. Um, whereas otherwise I might not have thought I, it was maybe something you might think other people did. But then uh, as uh, actors, uh, Jimmy Stewart was always my favorite actor. Can you do a Jimmy Stewart for me? No, I can't do it. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> I thought you would be able to do it. You're so amazing in everything else no, you do. No, 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 thank, thank you so much, cheers. you're fantastic.